Hey everybody, welcome to This is Epic. Today I have brought you the story of Princess Prithi. Let's jump right in. There once was a king named Shurasena. He had six children and they were Rajeshwari, Vasudeva, Prithi, Shrutashrava and Shrutakirti. Vasudeva grows up and marries the princess of Mathura named Devaki and father's son named Krishna. Prithi is adopted by King Shurasena's cousin and ruler of Kunti Desha named Kunti Bhoja. Kunti Bhoja had no children of his own and decided to adopt his cousin's sweet-natured daughter Prithi. So a young Prithi leaves behind her siblings, parents and her whole world and moves to Kunti Desha. Kunti Bhoja raises her with a lot of love and affection. Many of you probably know Prithi as Kunti. As the princess of Kunti Desha, she is known as Kunti. One day, while Kunti Bhoja is out performing the royal duty, Kunti Durvasa visits the palace. While waiting for the king to return, he grows impatient and finally offended and angry due to the lack of due respect shown to him by Kunti Bhoja. As he is just about to curse the king, saying, May all the wealth of Kunti Bhoja vanish, Princess Kunti rushes to the Muni and saves the day. She apologizes profusely on behalf of her father and extends an invitation to Durvasa to be her royal guest at the palace for as long as he wishes. Hearing this, Muni Durvasa calms down and accepts the invite. In order to ensure Muni Durvasa's pleasant stay at the palace, Princess Kunti oversees all arrangements. Kunti's efficiency pleases Devasa. At the end of his stay, he summons the princess and informs her that he is very pleased with the way she has hosted him and that he has decided to give her boons in the form of very powerful mantras. He explains to young Kunti that these mantras when chanted will beget her sons each blessed by a god. He then teaches the mantras to the princess before bidding his goodbye. And that brings me to the end of this episode. We'll see you soon with another one. Until then, see the light, be the light.